Welcome everybody to Bedbug Central TV. I'm your host, Jeff White. And uh, what we're going to talk about today is one part of a bed bug treatment plan. And that is our old trusty friend here, the steamer. Um, you're going to hear a lot of companies starting to talk about and starting to carry these on their trucks for treatment of bed bugs. And, and what this is, is this is a commercial grade steamer that, uh, as you can see, put some buttons here. puts out a good amount of steam um, to, in this case, treat for bed bugs. And the one reason why this is starting to make it into a lot of different bed bug management plans is because of the concern of pesticide resistance and the concern of how and what do we do with bed bug eggs. Um, let's talk about pesticide resistance first. There are some reports that are starting to get out there in different trade journals and whatnot and, and scientific magazines that researchers are finding that there's a higher level of pesticide resistance and pesticide tolerance in the field by bed bugs than what we had first suspected. And what that means is that it's looking like a lot of the bed bugs that we're running into out at clients' homes and apartments and whatnot may be either tolerant or resistant to the pesticides that we're using, meaning that they're very difficult to kill and the pesticides aren't working like we thought they were. And in that case, what do you do? I mean, if, if, if the pesticides we have aren't working, how are we going to kill these bugs? And this is one option to kill those bugs, is to steam them. The one thing we know about bed bugs is that they're very susceptible to heat. Um, temperatures, and there's a lot of differing reports, but temperatures around 120 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 to 30 minutes should kill bed bugs. This steamer puts out much higher temperatures than that. The exact temperature, I'm not sure, but I would say it's probably upwards of 180 degrees or more. And this will basically kill bed bugs on contact, as well as bed bug eggs. And so this is one way that we can address bed bugs that doesn't use pesticide. And this is why we talked about wanting to see pest control companies use a lot of different techniques when they're dealing with a bed bug infestation. Steam is one of those different techniques outside of pesticide that we like to see. The other concern that we're addressing with steamers is bed bug eggs. And reason being, bed bug eggs are very, you know, tough and hardy. And if we spray an egg with a pesticide, that pesticide isn't going to penetrate that egg. So theoretically, the egg is still fine. Now, if the egg hatches right after you spray it with pesticide, the bug is then on the pesticide, and yes, that bug may die. But if may, may is the keyword, but if that egg hatches, say, five days after you sprayed it with a pesticide, that pesticide may no longer have a strong enough effect to kill the bed bug that just came out of that egg. Therefore, what you just did is not playing any effect on that bed bug egg in that newly emerged bed bug. Now, what we can do with this steamer is say if we know we have a large concentration of bed, bed bugs and eggs on the bottom of a box spring, we can take this steamer, turn it on, and come slowly down that box spring. And if we hold it, you know, for a second or two in a spot, anything that this steamer contacts is going to die, including the eggs, instantly. And so we can address those concerns of that, those eggs and those bed bugs with this steamer. Also, eggs can be very difficult to get off of a surface. What happens is, is the bed bugs, when they lay them, they are actually almost kind of glued or cemented to the surface they're on. So you'll see if you ever try to vacuum a cluster of eggs off of a mattress, um, you'll hear it almost sounds like sandpaper. And it's because those eggs are actually glued or cemented to the surface. So not only are they difficult to get off, if we spray them with a pesticide, they may not die. And this, uh, this guy right here is how we start to address those concerns. Um, so that basically covers why we use steamers and why we like to see steamers in a bed bug management plan. In regards to what steamers you can purchase, you know, there's so many steamers out there, there's no way I can say here's a list of steamers that, you know, we think are good for bed bug management plans. Uh, there's just too many out there. The one thing I can say is you probably want to go with, if you can, a commercial grade steamer. Because a lot of the over-counter steamers may not get, you know, one you can buy maybe say at Walmart that, you know, comes in a little box and is like a handheld. That may not get to the temperatures you need it to get to for, uh, you know, as intense as they need to be to kill the stuff on contact. Um, you know, this one, like I said, probably gets upwards of 180 degrees and probably even higher than that. And uh, that should kill things on contact. So I can't necessarily recommend any one steamer 
to everybody, you just want to make sure that that temperature is pushing up towards 200 degrees if possible, 200 degrees Fahrenheit. And you want to make sure that, you know, one reason why we put this towel on is it's, it's as you can see the steam pour off of it, it injects less uh, moisture onto the surface. This towel absorbs a lot of that water from the steam and so you get the temperatures but you don't get the water content. There's a lot of things that go into this and where I was going is, is you don't necessarily want to jump into this if you feel uncomfortable doing it because of the intense temperatures you can actually damage different fabrics and surfaces with this steamer. That temperature is so high you can actually damage things. So you want to be careful if you do embark on this on your own. You know, obviously we always recommend getting a knowledgeable professional out to your home to help you do stuff like this or do these things for you. Um, but either way, you know, this is something, this, this is a steamer. This is what we like to see in bed bug management plans. And that's basically it. I mean, that, that's, steamers are pretty straightforward. They're addressing pesticide resistance concerns and they're addressing eggs. And that's probably even the bigger thing, is that they're addressing those eggs that we're not quite sure what to do with and are tough to vacuum up. Alrighty, people. Uh, Jeff.White at bedbugcentral.com. You've heard the email address before. Please email me questions and comments. If you have anything else you want to hear about steamers and, and, and what they do, you know how to reach me. And, hey, see you soon.